Hey, what up, what up, BGK gang? This is Andre of Big Gemini Kennels, a.k.a. BGK. Welcome back. Smash that subscribe button, hit the like button, drop a comment, let us know what you're thinking. Make sure you hit that alert notification so you're notified every time we drop new content, and that's going to be frequently, because we came to drop bombs. Beast mode. Hey, what up, what up, what up? This is Andre with BGK, and today we have a banger. It's been a long time in the making. This should have been done a long time ago, in my opinion, but at least we get into it right now. And that is the difference between an American bully and a pit bull. A lot of people don't understand, like, is this an American bully? Is this a pit bull? And today we're gonna go over the differences and how to know what you're looking at because a lot of dogs are labeled as pit bulls and I'm guilty as well. I've used the word pit bull when marketing my dogs. And every time I use the word pit bull in one of my videos, there's always somebody in the comments saying this. That's not a damn pit bull, it's an American bully. All right, all right, okay, okay, we get it. You're right, you're right, I can't say nothing. So let's clear this up right now. To be honest with you guys, what I truly create and produce is known as the XL American Bully. They're a lot larger, thicker, more muscle. They're just a bigger overall bullier specimen of a dog than the typical traditional ABPT, American Pitbull Terrier. And that's something that we really need to discuss. Now, a lot of the uh, true game bred American Pitbull Terrier breeders um, and, and the people that are true to what a true Pitbull is really get upset at the American Bully breeders such as myself for ever using the word Pitbull. And to be honest, the reason why we do it is because the American Bully is a newer breed. It's just now getting established. So a lot of people are looking for the American Bully and not the Pitbull Terrier, but they think they're looking for a Pitbull because of the way the dog looks. To help this make sense, you have to remember that the pit bull has been around since the 1800s and the American Bully was just recently recognized in about 2004 by the American Bully Kennel Club. They were the first to recognize it. So it's a relatively new breed. What we do is we were lure people in using the term pit bull when we actually are talking about American Bully just for SEO purposes, algorithm purposes. But we make sure to educate people once they're in the door and let them know that you're looking at an American Bully, which is an offspring, if you will, of the pit bull and something different a different breed with a different temperament different body type different structure and overall just a different specimen and a lot of people are looking for that and don't realize that because the terms has been used so interchangeably in the past I have a lot of respect for the true American Pitbull Terrier because it paved the way for the American Bully. And to be honest, when I explain that to my clients that I don't have pit bulls and I actually have XL American Bullies, I have never ever lost one client. They actually appreciate the insight and want to move forward because that's more of the temperament they were looking for anyway. To handle a true American Pitbull Terrier takes a lot of time and energy because they're really high drive, high energy, gamey, dog aggressive dogs. And this is not a breed that just anybody can handle. The true American Pitbull Terrier catches a lot of flack, but it's truly a badass dog. And without them, the American Bully wouldn't exist. In my opinion, they're truly misrepresented in the news and mainstream media. Now I'm about to jump into what each breed is and what the differences are between the two breeds. But before I do that, I would like to address something that I think a lot of people have noticed. When you see a pit bull, quote unquote, pit bull attack in the news, a lot of the times it is not a true pit bull or American pit bull terrier. It's either a pit bull hybrid or an American bully or some breed that resembles the pit bull, like maybe a cane corso or a Presa canario, but not truly a pit bull. So look into that when you see that in the news. I would say 80% of the attacks I see that are labeled as quote unquote pit bull attacks are not true American pit bull terriers. Speaking of the true American pit bull terrier, let's take a look at the breed specifics. Here's the history of the true American pit bull terrier. The history of the pit bull can be traced back to the early 1800s in the UK. Today's pit bull is a descendant of the original English bull baiting dog, a dog that was bred to bite and hold bulls, bears, and other large animals around the face and head. Wow, like think about it. They were bred to hold bulls and bears by the face and head. These dogs did not play. The, the original breed showed no fear. When baiting large animals was outlawed in the 1800s, people turned instead to fighting their dogs against each other. That's where pit bull fighting was born because they weren't allowed to fight the bears. They weren't allowed to bait the bears and bulls that they used to. So people began fighting the dogs against each other and that's why they're known as a fighting dog. That's what they were used for and that's why they have so much animal aggression in their DNA. That was their original intent and purpose. 
Most pit bull type dogs descend from a 19th century dog fighting type developed from crosses between the Old English Bulldog and the Old English Terrier. Even though the pit bull was originally created in the UK, in 1991 the UK government decided to ban pit bulls in response to a slew of incidents involving vicious, often unprovoked attacks by this particular breed on humans. Three other dog breeds were outlawed in this act. The Japanese Tosa, the Dogo Argentino, and the Fila Brasilero. Now what I truly find funny about this is even though the UK has banned the true American pit bull terrier, there's not a ban on American bullies. So American bullies are all over the UK. As a matter of fact, I've produced a lot of American bullies that are in the UK and they have one dog shows because they have American bully shows. As a matter of fact, BGK threw a big American bully show out there. So with that being said, hey UK, that's a pretty big contradiction. A pretty, pretty big contradiction. Get it together. It's banned in 12 damn countries. Belgium, Brazil, Denmark, Finland, France, Canada, both in Winnipeg and Quebec, the Netherlands, New Zealand, Norway, Poland, and Puerto Rico. And also you have to be aware of the BSL laws in the United States that affect the breed. BSL stands for Bullshit Law. No, it actually stands for Breed Specific Legislature, but it might as well stand for Bullshit Law. And those places are able to prohibit you from owning an American Pit Bull Terrier and penalize you if you do, take your dog and euthanize it. AKA, kill it. Now clearly the purpose of this video is for you to be able to tell the difference between an American Bully and an ABPT, an American Pit Bull Terrier. So let's talk about the identifying characteristics of an American Pit Bull Terrier. One of the biggest differences between the two breeds is the size, the size and the temperament. But let's start with the size. Uh, for the true American Pit Bull Terrier, the height ranges from 18 to 19 inches at the withers for the males, 17 to 18 inches at the withers for the female, the weights range from 30 to 85 pounds, 85 pounds being super big for a true ABPT. I would say more 30 pounds to 65 pounds is more accurate. I know what you're thinking, 30 to 65 pounds, that doesn't sound like that large of a dog. And it's not, that's not the biggest dog. But it's kind of the thing that determined that phrase, it's not the size of the dog in the fight, it's the size of the fight in the dog. Because these dogs were originally bred to hold bears and bulls by the face until they quit. So, don't let that throw you off. The physical description of a pit bull is as follows. The pit bull has a stocky muscular build and a short smooth coat varying in color. The fluctuation in size and color of the pit bull is due to the breed being a mix between different types of bulldogs and terriers. The body of the pit bull is long with a short whip like tail that ends in a point. The standard American pit bull terrier is described as having a short and smooth coat that can have a variety of colors including red, white, fawn, or black and can have brindle markings. It is considered a medium to large sized dog at 30 to 65 pounds with a fairly proportionate head. The characteristics of the true ABPT, American Pit Bull Terrier, has been described as following. Intelligent, affectionate, friendly, stubborn, strong-willed, athletic, and aggressive. There are three types of dogs that are currently identified as Pit Bulls. The American Pit Bull Terrier, the American Staffordshire Terrier, and the Staffordshire Bull Terrier. Now that you have a pretty good grasp on how to identify a true American Pit Bull Terrier, I think it's time that we look at the characteristics that identify an American Bully. My favorite, the American Bully. Beast mode activate. The American Bully is formally defined as a recently formed companion dog breed originally recognized in 2004 by the American Bully Kennel Club, aka the ABKC. After the ABKC recognized the breed, it was followed by the European Bully Kennel Club, aka the EBKC, in 2008. The American Bully has been recognized by the United Kennel Club, aka the UKC, since July 15th of 2013. Now one major difference between the UKC and the ABKC, which are the two dominant registries in the United States for the American Bully, is that the UKC does not recognize any Merle dogs or any Trimural dogs in its registry. Since Merle American Bullies and Trimural American Bullies are fairly recent and obviously due to some mixing of breeds, the UKC ain't having it yet. The American Bully is a small to large breed which has been divided into four categories by some registering organizations such as the ABKC. Those categories are Pocket, Standard, Classic, and XL. Extreme. Recently the ABKC added the Extreme category as well. Other organizations such as the UKC have a consistent size standard. The American Bully is a highly adaptable and trainable breed, often acting as a loving companion. 
Many dogs, despite acting as lap dogs in the home, do well in sports such as weight pool, flirt pole, and hunting. They also make great service dogs. Dog and human aggression is bred out of the American Bully and is discouraged in the breed standards. They're called the American Bully because of their dominant stature. They have very thick bone, big heads, white chest, a lot of muscle, a lot of definition, and they look like an overall intimidating dog. They tend to have a very sinister look, especially after their ear cropping, and I consider that their signature look. And because of that, a misconception is born based on A, its relationship to the American Pit Bull Terrier, the true American Pit Bull Terrier, and the reason why we all know at this point that the original American Pit Bull Terrier was bred for gameness, for prey drive, for the willingness to attack another dog, for the aggression it shows and displays toward another animal, for the fact that it will keep going and not quit until its final breath. Those traits were targeted by the original American Pitbull Terrier breeders. So when they see an American Bully, they automatically assume the same thing, even though they're different dogs. And B, the overall look that the American Bully carries, because it looks like a Pitbull on steroids. It looks like a bigger, stronger, more dominant version of the Pitbull. And therefore, people assume that's exactly what it is, and it gets mischaracterized. As previously stated, dog and human aggression is bred out of the American Bully. Is some of it still there? Yeah. Is it there on the level that you would expect from a true American Pitbull Terrier? No. As a matter of fact, a lot of the enthusiasts that consider themselves quote unquote true American Pitbull Terrier breeders will come to us bully breeders, the breeders that create the American Bully and constantly breed the American Bully and tell us those dogs couldn't stay in the ring with my dog, those dogs would be dead in two seconds with my dog, and they might be right because these are not fighting dogs. We are not trying to create the biggest fighting dog on the planet. That's a misconception. The American Bully, as it is now known, began development in the 1980s with the majority of the final behavioral and aesthetic products being completed in the late 1990s. There is a consensus that at least five other breeds were used to attain the more bully physical traits desired in the dog. This led to the dogs being a lot larger than its ancestor, the American Pitbull Terrier. Now, what exact breeds were used is up for speculation, everybody's guessing. Some people say Bulldog, we know Bulldog was used in there, different types of Bulldog, Cane Corso, different types of Masters, Doggy Bordeaux, uh, there's, there's a lot of guessing going on, uh, Presa Canario, there's been some large Molosser style breeds added into this dog, and you can see some of that coming through in recent offspring, even though it was used many, many generations ago. Now this portion is coming directly from me as an American Bully breeder of the last 14 years that has been very successful and dominant in my field. As a matter of fact, 99% of the bullies that you've seen in this video have been produced or owned by myself. 99.5% of them. Myself being Big Gemini Kennels. Oh no, another shameless plug. I would say that the other breeds that were added in, whatever they were, helped stabilize that aggressive temperament that the original American Pitbull Terrier possessed and actually really enhance the breed. I've been breeding and selling American Bullies all over the world for the last 14 years and I've not had one dog turn on its owner or attack its owner or its owner's family members. That's super important to me. The temperament is super stable even though the look is aggressive. Now please remember not every bully breeder breeds for temperament. There are some bullies that will turn on and attack their owners. So be very careful who you purchase an American Bully from because temperament is everything. Quality matters. And when these large dominant dogs do decide to turn, it's going to be a real problem. The American Pitbull Terrier was the foundation parent breed used to create the American Bully. The ABPT maintained a characteristic appearance and temperament for over a century. Within that span of time, different strains of ABPT emerged within the breed, each with respective physical attributes. One particular ABPT strain developed a specific stockier physique that warranted recognition as a different breed altogether, aka the American Bully. The bloodline of this ABPT strain was then influenced with the introduction of American Bulldog, English Bulldog, and Old English Bulldog in order to fine-tune desired physical characteristic and personality traits. The breed was first recognized by its breed club, the American Bully Kennel Club, aka the ABKC, in 2004. This registry first acted as a means to document pedigrees and show the breed against its written standard. According to the ABKC, the initial desire for this breed was to produce a dog with lower prey drive and more of the quote-unquote bully traits and characteristics than the American Staffordshire Terrier. 
mass and heavy bone was prioritized to ensure such a look, and due to this, many of the dogs shown today displayed a wide front for which they were originally bred. That wide blocky chest, that huge blocky head, that's highly sought after in the American bully breed. Strangely enough, the breed's development and popularity are commonly tied to the growth of hip-hop culture. Hip-hop culture is obviously one of the dominant cultures nowadays, and you will see a lot of American bullies in hip-hop videos, on t-shirts, using hip-hop graphics. They have become a very important part of the hip-hop culture at this point. One popular hip-hop icon, the rapper DMX, who recently passed R.I.P., was known for his connection to the American bully and the American Pitbull Terrier. Many of this Fallen Legends songs reference dogs, especially American Pitbull Terriers and American Bullies. Speaking of hip-hop's connection to the American Bully, our latest customer at Big Gemini Kennels is hip-hop mogul Young Jock. Wow. This rap star, actor, and radio personality is currently featured on Love & Hip Hop Atlanta. He purchased two big, beautiful XL American Bullies for his family. This is what he had to say about the experience. Man, I've been I've been liking dogs my whole life. I've always uh, been a fan of big, bigger breed, bigger breed dogs. And um, once the whole bully game started to explode, I kind of you know really fell in love with them. Um, and over the time, of course, you know the exotics, all the smaller, you know the bullies, the Frenchies, and all that. I kind of I liked it all, but I just got tired of spending so much money on dogs that couldn't protect me or wouldn't protect me. It just dogs that look this, you know, designer dogs are like Birkin bags, you know what I'm saying? You just balling because you got one, but it really ain't doing much for you, you know what I mean? Okay. And, um, it's really been cool working with Dre at BGK because um, I've been watching them for a long time, so I knew that <clears throat> that was a certain level of integrity uh, in his whole process of how he just handles the dogs, deal with the dogs and breeds his dogs. Uh, the temperament, the, I mean, they're, they they, sit, they appear to be good. It's my first day with them, of course. This one is Nipsey. He's a big boy. So right here is uh, Bruiser. Now, very, very strong dogs. One of the first videos I shot documenting my huge XL American bully, BGK's The Rock, actually went viral and I woke up to it being featured on World Star Hip Hop and receiving over a million and a half views in one day. That shows how strongly the hip hop culture is interested in the American Bully breed. And of course, what did the title say on the World Star Hip Hop video featuring my XL American Bully? It said, World's Largest Pit Bull. That's because at that point, they did not know that this was an American Bully. Not just a regular American Bully, but an XL American Bully, which is why they were so shocked by its size. Now let's discuss the four different categories of American Bully and the size and characteristics they display. To keep this simple, we will go from small to large. The Pocket American Bully. The smallest category of the American Bully is called the Pocket. I imagine they came up with this name because these dogs are so small you could damn near fit them in your pocket. The Pocket type American Bully is a smaller variant with full grown males under 17 inches but no less than 14 inches at the withers and females under 16 inches but no less than 13 inches at the withers. The average Pocket American Bully weighs between 11 to 22 pounds. They're definitely the little guys of the American bully world, but if you look at their physique, you can still be incredibly impressed. Classic American Bully. The classic American Bully is almost the same as the standard American Bully, but it's a lighter framed dog than the standard. It falls within the same height range though. The classic American Bully is a medium sized dog. Male dogs must be 17 to 20 inches at the withers, while females must be 16 to 19 inches at the withers. These dogs do not display the exaggerated features often found in other American bullies and arguably display clearer American pit bull terrier traits than any other American bully. Basically, when it comes to American bullies, this is as close to an American pit bull terrier as you'll get as far as looks and features go. Standard American Bully The standard American bully type is a medium sized dog with a compact, bulky, muscular body, heavy bone structure, and a blocky head. Male dogs must be 17 to 20 inches at the withers while females must be 16 to 19 inches at the withers. The difference between the standard American Bully and the classic American Bully is that the standard American Bully has the heavier bone structure, the blockier chest, and the blockier head. It's more true to the form of an American Bully. Extreme American Bully Recently, the ABKC added the extreme category as well. 
The extreme American bully is an alternate version of the standard bully determined by a heavier body structure and weight. It has more body mass than the standard type and a wider look giving very thick and heavy bone. It follows the same standards as the standard bully. Compact a muscular body with a broad chest. To make it even simpler, it is called the extreme American bully because it is an extreme version of the standard American bully. Hmm, that's kind of weird because the standard is already an extreme version of the American Pitbull Terrier. Now we have the extreme that's an extreme version of the standard. <sighs> Does it ever end? XL American Bully. The largest recognized class of American Bullies is the XL American Bully. Now there's a such thing as the XXL American Bully. It's not recognized, but it exists. I'll breed them, I'll explain later. The XL American Bully type is determined by its adult height with males ranging between 21 inches at the withers and 23 inches at the withers, and females ranging between 19 inches at the withers and 22 inches at the withers. The XL American Bully has a large bulky muscular body, heavy bone structure, and a huge blocky head. If you just seen this huge dog at the park, had a big head, looked just like a pit bull, and it was just ginormous, most likely you're talking about an XL American Bully. Now that we covered the four official types of American Bullies, I think that we should cover the unofficial types which still exist and are a huge part of the market as well. And that's the XXL American Bully and the Micro American Bully. Now neither one are officially recognized by the registries. I mean you're allowed to register them, but they can't be shown if they're outside the standards, even though they still make exceptions and let you show them. Sometimes They still play a huge role in the American Bully world and the demand for them is insane. So is the pricing. The pricing for the micros and the pricing for the XXL American Bullies are out of this world. The XXL American Bully. I like to start with the XXL American Bully because it's one of my favorites. No, it is my favorite. It is the type that I have chose to breed. All my dogs are XL American Bullies or XXL American Bullies. Now the XXL American Bully can get as large as 25 to 28 inches at the withers. The females can get up to 23 to 24 inches at the withers, and these dogs can get up to 180, 190, 200 pounds and still retain that look. All right? So these are monsters, monsters among monsters. American bullies are already bigger, but this is the epitome of bigger right here. And that's why we're called Big Gemini Kennels. Big is the first word in our name. That's what we produce. XL American Bullies and XXL American Bullies. There's been a big petition for the registries to recognize and allow them to be shown. One of the first XXL American Bullies that turned out to be really popular with the mainstream was BGK's The Rock. And the reason why I say he was an XXL American Bully is because at his withers, he was 25 inches. And that is outside of the norm for what they consider a traditional XL American Bully. Um, a lot of people don't understand that once you start going above 23 inches at the withers, you are outside of the XL American Bully. Over the years, BGK was one of the first kennels to consistently produce dogs that were 24 and 25, 26 inches at the withers. And once you start hitting those kind of heights, then you are no longer producing the traditional XL American Bully standard type dogs. There were very few people producing the XXL American Bully before me. Saul of RBG, Roman Vaughn of Iron Cross Kennels, one of my mentors at the time, and Anthony Sun of High Caliber were a couple of them, but there weren't many, especially doing it on a consistent basis, back to back to back, year after year. That's kind of where we made our mark as Big Gemini Kennels. We always took the big in our name seriously. <laughs> big Gemini Kennels. By the way, did I tell you the first word of my kennel name is big? Never mind. Let's, let's keep moving. <laughs> Before we keep moving, I'm going to tell you if you're looking for the best quality XL American Bullies or XXL American Bullies, check out Big Gemini Kennels. BigGeminiKennels.com Oh no, that, that's a shameless plug. So tasty. The most famous XXL American Bully that's loved by millions of people, that's been on major news networks and so on and so forth, is DDK's The Hulk, owned by Dark Dynasty K9. And as you can see by the way people respond, they truly love these big, blocky bullies. Micro American Bullies. Now, if you thought pockets were the little guys, wait till you see the micro American bullies. These are the little guys of the little guys. Now, the males are 12.5 inches and under at the withers. Females are 12 inches and under at the withers. But they're still built like brick houses. That's the crazy part. These little guys are still built like little tanks. 
check out the Micro American Bully, and don't be surprised at the big price tag these little guys go for. Colors! Now there are a wide variety of American Bully colors. Black, white, gray, brown, blue, tan, fawn, red, and piebald. They also can be tricolor, merle, or trimerl. Damn it, I forgot to say brindle or trendle. Now that we covered all the different types of American bullies, let's discuss what sets them apart from the American Pitbull Terrier and how you can tell the difference. We can start with the size. By now you know the American Pitbull Terrier is a smaller dog. It's more slender in stature. It doesn't have the wide blocky chest, has a more streamlined look. The true American Pitbull Terrier doesn't have the big blocky head, the big wide chest, the thick bone the uh, crazy muscular overdone structure. If you see that, you're looking at American Bully. On the other hand, if you're looking at a dog that is real huge, big blocky head, crazy chest, crazy structure, then that is an American Bully and please don't call it a pit bull. Remember that the pit bull has more gameness, is uh, more dog aggressive, more animal aggressive, more human aggressive, and the American Bully, even though it is larger and looks more intimidating, has been bred to be more of a family companion. It's not going to be as aggressive. It can be trained to do a variety of things. So give it a chance before you start judging. For the record, we're not talking down on a true American Pitbull Terrier because, like I said before, we think it's an amazing specimen. It just needs to be in very qualified hands as it is a high drive, high energy dog that needs guidance and needs an alpha. It needs someone to give it the kind of workout and direction that it needs on a regular basis. Whereas an American Bully, it still needs to be exercised and it needs guidance and an experienced handler, but it's not going to be as high strung or high energy as that a true American Pitbull Terrier. Hopefully this video has gave you some insight on the differences between the American Pitbull Terrier and the American Bully. So the next time that you're out and about and you see one, you know what you're looking at and you don't have to be scared. This video is being brought to you by the BGK's Dog Care Secrets and Breeding Tips eBook. If you want to know how to give your dog its best life, how to help it reach its fullest potential, what exercises to do, how to breed, how to care for your litter, how what treats, what supplements to use, then this book is for you. Make sure you look for the link in the description. Also, don't forget to check us out at BigGeminiKennels.com for the best American bullies, the best XL American bullies, or the best XXL American bullies on the planet. Link in the description.